Hey everybody, a beautiful day here in Arizona and it's a great place to rock hound this mineral. This is calcite. And just for fun, I thought I'd show you a couple different varieties that I have collected and just to see how cool calcite can be. This is one of them. This is a pretty clear form and um, some of the clear varieties can be, uh, can make the optical illusion of refraction or double vision and so we call that optical calcite um, but yeah this one is showing the crystal form having the rhombohedrons so you'll see sort of cubic but like slanted cubes those are roms um, i have a single one here i can just show you so if we broke that up into pieces it would break along these cleavage planes and give us these nice shiny crystal faces and that again that little slanted cube so yeah, uh, this is pretty cool. Quartz or uh, calcite looks like uh, almost like little slanted ice cubes in this case. So pretty cool. Um, it can similarly look like that, but be different colors too. So this is kind of the same deal, except it has some impurities, and so it comes across as brown. You have to be careful with calcite. Uh, colors are definitely not a good thing to go by when identifying it because it can look like some other minerals definitely crystal shape is better and hardness um, if you want to learn more about how to ID calcite and all the details just check out my full-length um, calcite video that I did and you'll learn all about how to ID it um, so it can be just like a chunk of calcite too similar to how you might find minerals like quartz you can just find it without the the nice ROMs formed but this is another fun variety this is it's more like spiky looking crystals somewhat similar to some of the minerals you might or the crystal forms you might be familiar with with quartz um, but these are referred to often as dog tooth dog tooth spar it's called so you actually see the roms there in the middle but then you see this coating here and that's the dog tooth crystals so that's a fun variety of calcite i told you it gets pretty cool it, it comes in all these different varieties so it will line the interior of spaces i have one like that where well that one had a void but this also was this is a piece of what would be imagine more like a ball of this rock and broke it open and on the inside it was filled with calcite that had been deposited so those rhombohedron crystals are there in the middle of that geode so um calcite is also a component of shells so we get um that's why we get calcite in marine environments but it can also form these bubbly looking, which we call oolitic textures. And yeah, so those are so just some of the fun varieties of calcite you can find. And I just thought it'd be cool to kind of show you all the different um, forms of calcite today. There's some really pretty crystals. Uh, next time I'll be talking more about a lot of other minerals here as well. So just check out my minerals playlist. And you can learn about minerals and geology with me here at Let's Go Geo. See you guys in the next adventure.